Hi, I'm Danny Zegger here for uh, Zegger Easy Play Guitars. Um, a lot of people uh, in the past have uh, asked me who my uh, favorite artist was uh, as far as guitar players. And, and that would be an easy one for me. Uh, right from the very beginning, I can remember of being uh, attracted to the sounds of uh, uh, Chet Atkins. He was very much in the country field just recently deceased, unfortunately. Uh, to me, he was the greatest guitarist there ever was. Uh, I started out playing rhythm guitar, the real basic stuff. I did a, just a few runs, licks as far as lead, but when I heard Chet Atkins work, it was a, it was a whole new thing. I think that was to most people, and still is. Uh, I listen to still a lot of his stuff uh, on the net, and I've been studying his system and his style just a little bit more recently with the, uh, the thumb pick and the uh, uh, fingernails and so forth, which is different for me. I've always played a finger pattern with, uh, uh, like he has, I, uh, I shaped my ability after what he did. Uh, he does such a complete job of any song. Uh, lead line, chord structure, bass, rhythm. In fact, one, one of the things that uh, really impressed me just recently, I was going back through his uh, some of the uh, videos that he has on the net right now, and, and he actually uh, not only plays the full arrangement, he, he does anything in the field of jazz. Uh, naturally, country was always his specialty, uh, well, country's where all the money's at, really. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of music, from jazz to, to blues to whatever, but uh, the real king of all of them, as far as the raw numbers, uh, the money is really in the country field. So if any of you are thinking, you know, in that direction, you've got, you've got a good idea there. There's a lot, a lot of money in country music, if you like country. Uh, but uh, uh, what was really amazing, I, I saw... Uh, one thing where, needless to say, he always played the full arrangement, which was uh, bass for the thumb, blending notes, and lead note with the ring finger on the top. He actually played a couple things where he was actually doing two songs at the same time. You had a melody line going this way, and the other melody line was going that way, and it was happening at the same time. To keep that, in fact, <laughs> it's really kind of funny because I, I watched... I watched him perform so many times, and uh, such a perfectionist all the way along. And in playing two songs at the same time, I actually saw him make two mistakes. <laughs> and but I can see why, because naturally he'd he'd uh, go for his full uh, full arrangement again. But it was a full arrangement of two different songs. If you can imagine what that was, he had four parts of one and four parts of another put out at the same time. Uh, I've actually, I've, I've met the guy about two or three times at the RCA, you know, uh, conventions and so forth. I think one was in Chicago and New York, but I don't recall. But uh, anyhow, a very uh, humble man, to say the least. A typical country, but the most friendly type person you would never know that uh, that he was as big a star as he really was. He was so down to earth. That's what everybody loved him so much for because uh, of his personality. And uh, uh, but anyhow, I I always wanted to get to know him well enough that I could ask him some questions about some of the things he did. Because now, as far as I am now, if I could talk to him, I would learn a ton of stuff because I know what to ask. And I've, I've worked, you know, full finger styles and so forth most of my life, which is some 50, 60 years of performing and, and so forth now. But uh, I never, I, I was always kind of uh, cautious. I didn't want to take his time. I, I would have loved to got him in the corner and really picked his brain for a while. I, uh, with an in individual like that, uh, my God, what a, what a blessing uh, to, for us to have uh, a musician like that uh, amongst us. Uh, but anyhow, 
Who is my favorite artist? Without a doubt, uh, Chester Atkins. Uh, if you get a chance to uh, tune in some of his videos, uh, you'll learn a lot. You want to hear some blurry, you know, runs. I mean, they're so quick. It's amazing how quick he could move with that thumb pick and, and finger style. So if you, if you want to get some uh, good knowledge and uh, at least get turned on and pulled into the guitar uh, scene, uh, listen to some of his videos. Uh, you'll love every minute of it like I have been. Thanks for listening.